So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and today we have a very, very, very juicy bit of brand new Black Ops 3 zombie storyline which at the moment we aren't sure on, we aren't very sure on this at all but it's very exciting and we're going to discuss a ton of theories in this video as I have a feeling this is going to be very, very important. Now Call of Duty released a bio yesterday talking about the Origins map and they've just released one about Shadows of Evil. As I was expecting, like the Origins one, we didn't really learn anything new in that one and we don't really learn a lot new in this but they do introduce something brand new with Richtof in which we've never heard before so the bio says as four newly cursed souls banded together to defy the undead horrors of Morg City Richtof began to set his grand plans in motion Armed with the knowledge gained from the Chronorium, Richtofen entered the dimension with a singular goal, to secure the summoning key from the possession of the Keepers. Now what on earth is the Chronorium? This is something we've never heard of before in the multitude of zombie universes we have right now. Never heard of this word before, so what exactly does it mean? Well we need to re-look at the sentence and look at it in its context. Armed with the knowledge gained from the Chronorium, Richtofen entered the dimension with a singular goal, to secure the summoning key from the possession of the Keepers. This is unbelievably exciting for the storyline as this is opening up things which we at the moment have no idea about. Now, I have several theories on what the Chronorium could be, but first, in order to figure that out, we need to look at what Richtofen was doing between Origins and Shadows of Evil. So between that timeline, Richtofen spent the course of the next two years from Origins in 1918 where he began studying the concept of parallel and alternate timelines, learning that there are other worlds where exist many different variations of himself and his allies and he also learns of one particular universe where Samantha and other incarnations of him, Eddie, are mere innocent children casually playing with their zombie toys. Wanting to protect them, Richtofen then sets out to change the established continuity in every timeline by killing every version of himself. So during his travels, Richtofen stops at one particular dimension, which is Shadows of Evil, where he acquires an artifact, which is the summoning key, from four individuals residing in Morgue City, which are the characters that we play as. So knowing that there is a gap of two years before the events of Shadows of Evil in the 1940s in this dimension. So Richtofen, in from Origins to now, is armed with the knowledge gained from the Chronorium. Now the key word in the sentence besides the word Chronorium itself is the word before it, which is the, meaning it's either an object of some sort or could be, or a race of beings that we haven't been introduced to yet in the story. But this is like, it's just an absolute gobsmacker because this is a huge bomb because it's something we've not known before. This is absolutely brand new. One of the ideas I had is it could be a kind of book with all-knowing knowledge and power because beforehand, Richtofen didn't exactly know, or at least assuming, how exactly he was going to change all the universes in the world. And at this point, whatever this is, which could be a book, taught him all the events of history in all the universes on what's going to happen. Because surely Richtofen wasn't going to assume that there was going to be some sort of summoning key that would help him take the souls of the other characters. How on earth would he know to do this? It's a good, good question. Now, what I think here is whatever this is, assuming this could be a book, it's taught him the, the kind of knowledge and power of what comes with the summoning key. But I don't think necessarily whatever this is taught him to do precisely what he does in Shadows of Evil. I think he goes against what this, whatever this is, this Chronorium actually told him and decided to go and do his own thing. He learned about the power of the summoning key and used it for his own personal gain. Now you can look at this in two different ways because in a way it seems that Richtofen is going against the Keepers by stealing it from them at that point at the end of the Easter egg but it seems that the Keepers are the good guys in this situation here and at some point in time they do form some form of an alliance because if we look at the picture of the Primus version of our characters they have the exact same symbols as the Keepers. Another thing that is completely unrelated from the Chronorium 
it's also in the bio how it says as for newly cursed souls which could also indicate that there are other cursed groups out there that the shadow man has cursed in order to do his dirty deeds and could also be a relation to the mob of the dead crew as well which is why we see so many references of them in shadows of evil like i said at the moment we have no real idea so we're just coming up with really cool creative theories and if you guys have any ideas as well make sure to pop them in the comment section but for now i'm going with the idea of it being some sort of ancient book or some sort of ancient group now as soon as i saw the bio i typed in chronorium on google and i couldn't find anything but related words or words that are very similar is chronos which was the titan god of time and the ages especially time where regarded as destructive and all devouring and he ruled the cosmos during the so-called golden age after castrating and disposing his father which is not very pleasant at all now this titan god of time and ages could have created some sort of book or something that richtofen has learned from in the two years between the origins timeline and then us in shadows of evil what i feel certain of though is by dlc4 we'll have an extremely good understanding of what the chronorium is and it's also important to note as well that Jason mentioned in the DLC2 live stream with Noah that there's a lot of times where they'll leave out specific details of events between maps, such as how did our characters get from Dryzendrak to Zetsubo no Shima and how our characters got from the Origins to Shadows of Evil. He said that those things are left out because they can be brought up later with fantastic sort of references and can kind of fit in very well with future events. And I feel this is exactly exactly one of those situations let me know what you think of this all down below in the comment section like i mentioned this is extremely exciting and as soon as we learn more about this you know i'm going to be bringing it to you guys here on the channel so make sure to subscribe for that and they may drop some more bios which could have some new information in as well if they do i'll be sure to update you guys but i uploaded a mob of the dead gameplay earlier which is actually the map's turned three years old so if you want to check that out we do a ton of fun easter eggs that are on that map and just have a blast check that out on my channel but thank you for watching, drop the video a like rating if you're excited and hyped by this, and we'll catch you in another video very, very soon.